Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. Today we are on Yin's account. This person asked for a specific review. He wants me to take a look at his RTA. He believes that his rune quality is there for him to reach a new goal. But we will check that out and see if that's really the case. Let's see where he is at in normal arena. Because obviously you want to see the normal arena rank higher than the RTA rank, which is usually the case. I have seen the other way around, which is kind of weird. But it could be a box issue, it could be unit issues. We'll check the monster box and everything. I'm pretty sure he's doing all the dungeons. So we'll just focus on that and see what kind of recommendations I could give him to improve in the game. Hey guys, before we start the video, if you guys are interested in getting advice and help, from me and other Summoner's War players, feel free to join my Discord where the link is in the descriptions below. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me, become a Patreon where the link for it is also in the descriptions. I want to say I appreciate all the support and believe me, I really do. Anyways, that was it. Let's get back to the video. So Ian has been playing for 2,800 days very long time almost when the game was released you can see that his regular arena is at c2 and his world arena is at f3 so yeah i understand his frustration so we'll just go straight into his world arena box to check out check out the runes and everything so if you look at runes and look at swift runes and look at speed his fastest here is 21 that's actually really good and it could be up to 28 or even 29 if you give it a legend grind assuming it max rolls but this is a really nice rune i think you're really lucky with that it looks like a reap or you just farmed it and then 19 wow that's a big drop okay then you have a 23 and then 21 then you have 22 and then 21 again another 25 okay that's a good one 25 and then 24 so slot 5 is stronger than his slot 3s and 4s where one is the strongest due to that one rune and it's slot six of 27 so that's a good swift word rune i think that he wants to run the team seeing this rune on him but swift word really really depends on your box you have to have the unit so we'll see if he has that and then 25 another really good one look at that and then 21 okay so swift runes are actually not that bad it's really good uh there are some slots that's pretty weak but he does have other slots that are really strong violent rune 27 that's good and then a 22 okay still that one fast rune 25 and then 23 i like how he gave that a hero gem or it could have been a legend who knows and then a 27 24 wow these runes are actually really good for his for his rank i think 28 look at that 27 23 and then a 22 so slot 6 is the weakest but his other slots are actually pretty strong and this is an awesome rune too right so really strong violent rune i think it's overall stronger than the swift runes for sure then the will runes 24 and then 19 25 and then 24 24 24 21 20 okay really weak slot 5 and then finally a 22 which become which could be a 27 with a hero grind and an 18 okay will rune pretty weak probably the weakest out of the three now let's look at the box and let's see what kind of team is running. Wow, you have a lot of units picked out. I don't like people doing this, especially when they are low in their ranks. Because in this state, while your rank is low, you want to pick a type of team that you want to run. To put it simply, you decide if you're going to go first turn or second turn. Let's see if you have the units for a, for a Swift Fur team. You have a SEMA, which I think goes really well with the, with the Swift Fur team. But you don't have a Chung Pong which I think is probably like one of the most important. I mean, I see you have the other two art masters, but Sally, not the wind art master. And it's kind of hard to replace that unit. Maybe it's in here somewhere. You, you have Mo Long, you could just run the Mo Long and the Icarus combo, which would be also very, very nice. Let's look at some of the units that you didn't pick out. No, nothing good. Yeah, for wind too, nothing, nothing crazy. And then finally for light and dark, 
you are using a Gina. Gina, it goes pretty well with the Swiftvert team as well. I see LC33 using it. Let's say you make a hybrid Swiftvert team, which you can, although there's no pushback. But you, there, there is something that you could do. For example, you could do these two. So here is the triple. I mean, here's the Swiftvert team, right? These two are the core main picks, and then I think a Sima is gonna also be a extremely good pick. So that's your core, and then from here, you decide on what you're gonna do. I think another good one here is Ganymede for a full-on reset pushback, and you could also reset like the Sima. You need one more damage dealer. Like if you had to do another speed threat, I believe you could even use the Ethna. Wow, you have the more as well. You skilled both of them. You skilled both of them. Whoa. Now that's a huge waste. I don't know why you did that, but that's a very big waste, right? Because this is fully skilled up too. Interesting. So this is your core team, the five units. But I do want more, more that could like push back, do more control. And let's bring out that Gina, because Gina is a good one. So here's one. It would have been best if she's actually skilled up, but sadly she's not. Another good one, you could use the Samath, because I saw the Samath. Where are you? Yeah, there you go. Fully skilled up. Thank you. Jogun is also a pretty good pick here. Cock. Well, I kind of want. I was kind of expecting like Savannah, Charlotte, Abelinus. You could also use the M Bison, the Wind M Bison. So this was. Is, I mean, this team is a lot of, a lot of wind, as you can see. But most likely, they will be banning out the Asima, your main damage dealer. But you'll be picking out these two as your first pick. It'll just be automatic. It is a swift verd. So these two and then your third pick will probably be like a Gina because you need more control. Turn order that I think I would go is probably this two and then I'll pick Ganymede and then with the Gina and then Asima last pick because people don't usually have Asima. And assuming that they pick they ban the Asima, the turn order is gonna be Verd going first. The strip does this strip as well. Yeah, th this strip this strip and sleep and then you could reset one of the units one of their healers or one of their crucial units right and then you just just keep turn cycling yes i do i do know that you think you'll lack damage but this puts dots the despair more should give you pretty good control vert should be cycling turns and ganymede should be refreshing the gina all the time and keep having this up because this continuously gives damage with dots. So that's the, t that's the type of team I'll run. But you could do more than this. There's a lot more you could do, right? Let's assume you're not doing this. You don't have to go with the Swift Vert team. If you do, that's the team I'll run, but you don't have to. Actually, you could run the Tyrone in that team. Well, let's pick that out. Let's pick that out. Let's keep it. So that's the team I will try running, at least. This is the kind of team I will try running. But if not, what else you would do is go a second tier team, right? So what you have to Riley for. Riley is probably like a core pick. Your Mo Long also. Your Obelio also would be a good pick. I, I love Figure in RTA. I don't know why. I use him as one of my core picks too. Hey gang for counter picks. Uh, a triple revenge bird. So you have another vert for that. Um, you have Juno for sure. You don't have a great win box, unfortunately. So sadly, I don't see other great units for a second turn other than the ones that I just picked out. Like Tyrannus could be okay, but he fell off. He fell off the meta pretty quickly. Uh, Cocky will be one. Oh, Antares, there you go. Laika, I did miss a few. It looks like. Oh, Annabelle, wow, can't believe I forgot that. And I guess one Lulu as well, because Lulu is still a very good healer. None of them are scaled up, but okay. The Vigor you want to use is the one that's scaled up. So something like that. So if you pick out anything, this is the type of team I'll run. So you know that you have a Swift Vert team, which I'll run with the first team that I showed you, with Asima, Gina, Vert, more, you know, Samath for speed lead. Ethna, if you want, if you really need to outspeed the Jogen to bring in in the scroll trap and attack buff, 
two resets, right? Depending on which one's better. Ganymede is not scaled up, so I would I would go for this. Because this could actually do more damage and you can make him tanky. If you do, he does more damage. So that's what I'll run. And if you don't do that, then you use the uh triple revenge vert with like Molong. Well Molong and Riley will be your first two picks because you don't have really that great of a first pick other than the Riley right now. If you had Nana or something like that, that would be a good pick too, but I don't see that or Carnal. So I'll definitely pick these two out and depending on what they pick out, if they bring a lot of control, you pick not a lot of control. If they bring a lot of dots, debuffs, then Juno will be a good pick. If they bring out like Diana, too much turn cycling, you bring out the Antares because Olivers are a thing right now. If they have a lot of fire, you bring in like sustain plus deal plus DD, which is like what the Vigor does, what Abelio could do a lot in that. If they bring out Gianna, obviously Hey Gang is a good one too. If you want to survive a whole lot of damage, 100 resist Annabelle will do the do the trick. Cause sh really, I don't know why. I feel like Annabelle's resistance is always it always works on her for some reason. So yeah, it's just all about counter picks, guys. It's all about counter picks. So for second turn teams, you have to learn and adapt. Um, depending on what the opponent picks. I'm going to tell you right now, just looking at your runes, I'm not going to take into account of your RTA skills, your pick and banning skills, but just from your runes alone, I think you can reach C2 and above. Just from your rune quality. I didn't check Despair, but Despairs are also a thing. So let's check Despair before we continue. So 24, 20, 28, there you go. 22, 22. And then 19, yeah. So Despair Runes are pretty weak. Despair Runes are pretty weak. So C2. I think you can reach C2. And before I finalize that for sure, let's take a look at your building. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. You're getting there. You're getting there. You're missing some. The light and dark. And actually, wind is pretty big. And the HP. Well, actually, these are all pretty big. So yes, you're only missing 1% here. So that's not that much. But this is 4%. Also not that much, but you want this extra damage, although you don't have great win units. For at least for a Swift Vert team, most of your control, your additional damage is coming from win units, right? One, two, three. <laughs> so I think powering up that tower is gonna to be definitely a plus. And depending on how long you have to be using this Gina, the dark one will also help. But she's mostly there for the dots, for the straight, for the sleep. So Full on control team, if you're going a Swift Ver team, make sure you ruin the units that I said. And if that gets taken, then you switch off to a second turn team. And what I usually do is that I pick out more first and let's say they take that Chung Pong or they take out the Verd, right? Then I'm like, okay, so I know that person wants to go fast too. I, I switch my gear and I pick out Riley plus the Mo Riley plus the Carnal, but for you it'll be Riley plus the Mo Long or Riley plus another fire, which is usually like the Juno, so that you could counter the Chung Pong. But that was it. I hope you could reach a new rank. Your victory rate is only 53%, which I think is really low compared to your rune quality at F3. You could definitely reach C1 and above. And I think Swift Bird will get you there pretty easily. And to be honest, I think your second turn team will do the same. It's probably your pick and ban, what you're doing. Maybe your runes are too spread out because you had like 50, 40, 50 runes already picked out. Yeah, see, like these teams are, it's weird. I don't know. I don't like this team. Like there's no speed lead. What's the em Amelia doing here? Amelia's just gonna get reset by the, by the Oliver, right? I would definitely first pick them more. Oh, there you go. You do that here. You go for a cleave. There's no defense break. And he just went for the outspeed. And your Triton is super slow. What I will do is switch out your Triton build if you ever decide to use the Triton actually. Because you're focusing too much on accuracy. Even if you just give him 85% or even lower, if he gets it on a few couple of units, their turnover is all jacked up. And that's all you care about. You don't have to give it 100 accuracy. This is going way too much. You would rather get more accuracy here, which you're getting already. So it's an overkill. And is this your fastest? Maybe that's your fastest thought six. So that's why you're doing it. But it looks pretty bad. It looks pretty bad. I'll make some changes. But for sure, you will want to be taking speed leads. If you want to ever contest speed. Which you did in that fight, but I'm saying other fights as well. I don't know what that Amelia did there. But that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Ian, I hope this helped. And I mean, I will be getting back to you um, through Discord telling you what I talked about. But after seeing this video, I hope it's more clear. And I hope that you try out different things, try out the actual team rather than I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I actually don't know what you're doing. Uh, watching RTA videos help. Watching other content creators doing RTA helps. So I think if you just do that and learn a little more, you will reach C2, at least C2. But that was it, guys, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.